Well, uh, this cannon better not leave a scar. We're in the Mole Bear Moors. Okay. Oh, welcome to a new area. Let's fuck some shit up. Let's keep continuing my thoughts on the, the 3D Zelda dungeons, which we're almost through. Uh, Wind Waker. So, Twilight Princess, my favorite dungeon for Twilight Princess. Let me think for a sec. There's a lot of dungeons in Twilight Princess. Let me think. So we got that Forest Temple. And then we got the Goron Volcano Temple. And we got, of course, Lake Bed Temple. And then there's the Temple of Time. There's the Sky Palace, or whatever the fuck that place is called. City of the Sky City. City. I don't know. Sky City. <laughs> Blanket on the name of that. The Sky City is pretty cool. Like, just being epic city in the sky. Um, Arbiter Ground, we already talked about. And there's the Twilight Realm dungeon. a shortcut to go to the other side. Oh. Snow Peak Ruins is pretty cool. That one I like a lot. Yeah. And Twilight Princess has a lot of good dungeons. Very memorable. Oh. It's this guy. It's the guy that has the hair on the cover of the game. So this is the guy with the sword. You folks had not Valsina? You want to see the Hero King? Well, I'm Duran of Valsina and Soldier. I was away on a mission when I heard rumors that the magician kingdom of Altina was planning to invade from the north. Just came back to report to the king. I gotta hurry. Falcine and soldiers are top notch, but our enemies are magic users. Don't let anything happen to the king. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Okay. Bye, Duran. Altina is attacking Valsina? Now what do I do? Fuck shit up, girl. Huh? What do you mean, huh? If you talk to one of these statues, it says home. Why? Why? Anyway, I'm trying to pick a favorite temple from Twilight Princess, and I'm having a hard time deciding. I like a lot of them. Um, my favorite one. Huh. What is my favorite one? Snow Peak Rose is good. I might just pick Snow Peak Ruins. The only problem I have with Snow Peak Ruins is probably the ice, the sliding ice block puzzle. But otherwise, I do like it. But yeah. Twilight Princess definitely has a lot of good temples. Like, very few temples in Twilight Princess would be on the bottom list of worst temples, like, in Zelda 3D games, for sure. There's so many good ones. And then while we already talked about uh, Breath of the Wild a little bit, um, or Skyward Sword, rather. I didn't. I don't remember the temples well enough to choose. Um, and Breath of the Wild, obviously, I would probably go Hyrule Castle just because of how, how epic it is for being the end of the game. I, I kind of agree with that. And while I know the four Divine Beasts are temples, or dungeons, uh, I probably still wouldn't put them ahead of the final fucking castle. It's just too epic. Okay, so this is for Kevin. Um, he can't... I can't go strength, because he already went strength. So I guess we'll go stamina this time. Just lean into the good stats for now. I think I'm spending too much time trying to find items. Like, there's no items laying around. I've found zero items laying around. I think this game is literally just battles for money and the, and the items that the enemies drop when they drop a chest. And then you spend your money in shops, and that's that's the game. Like, I don't think it's more complex than that. Gotta stop wasting my time trying to look for items. You'd never pick Hyrule Castle because it doesn't have any puzzle solving. My thing about Hyrule Castle, though, is it's just fun and epic because you just go there and you have to get to the top. Now, if you don't call it a dungeon, then that's fine. It's not really... I wouldn't call it Zelda... 
the, the Hyrule Castle a super huge dungeon, but in scale and just the fact that you're there and you just have to find your way to the top any way you can get up there, I think it's just a really unique experience for any Zelda dungeon. Because like, like we we're talking about the Divine Beast, they are set up like temples or dungeons where you have to do it a certain way to get everything done. But then you go to the freaking castle and you're like, how do I get to the top? I gotta find a way. There's a way. And then there's just so many ways you can do it. Now while the final fight with Ganon is a little underwhelming overall, I mean it's epic as fuck and looks awesome, but like underwhelming in the sense that like you can take out half of his health with having done most of the game and all that. Like just things like that. Like it's not underwhelming in that sense. It's just after all the after going through so much of a big game like that, you're like, alright, finally got rid of Ganon, cool. I don't think I can kill him from over here. It's too far away. It really is hard to compare Breath of the Wild to all the other 3D Zeldas. Because it doesn't have traditional dungeons. Everything's so different. And I love Breath of the Wild. It's one of my favorite Zelda games. It's just favorite. You know. It's definitely my favorite Switch game, I think. And I haven't even played it on the Switch. Favorite Wii U game. Where else I'm supposed to go here other than try to get to the town, which we're here. What happened? Hang on! Altina Mage is attacked. His Majesty is in danger. What? Well, that's not good. Mage is fucked up, yo. Just crispy fine these knights. What a bunch of bitches, dude. Angel and the others finally made it to the kingdom of Alcina, only to find it decimated by Altinish for forces. Well, that's not good. You're going to head out now, RPG fan? I'm surprised you hung out this long, to be honest. Hopefully you didn't get any spoilers. You have a good night, and uh, thanks for all the conversation about Zelda. It's been fun. Have a good one, man. Well done. Release the magical creatures into the castle and fall back for now. Yes, sir. Oh boy, magical creatures, huh? What a bunch of bitches. How could it come to this? Altina attacking Valsina? We have to stop the Crimson Wizard and save the Hero King. We have to. Ugh, she's fainted. Fuck that bitch. Hang on. I can heal the bonus statue. Don't worry about me. Go protect the king. Well, I can't go through the front gate. Shit's blocked by your dead ass body. Also, there's a portcullis in the way, but that's cool. If we're going to include 2D, just before the conversation's gone, if we're going to include 2D game, fuck Turtle Rock. I mean, yes. Agreed. Fuck Turtle Rock. <laughs> and fuck half the dungeons from Zelda 1. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Save point and heal spot. Bitching. I'm glad I checked this door first. Hell yeah. Mm, mm. Hit it. Mm, 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 mm. Hit me. Oh, shit. It's a machine golem. Get him. Oh, boy. He's shooting Fuego at me, and it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Ow. I did a pretty good decent chunk of damage on me. No bueno. Damn, I fucked those dudes up, though. They got fucking cornered and jumped. Ice coin? What that? Water damage. Okay. I also picked up this Nitromite. Oh. I don't think I can use this. I think it's just used for cannons in general. Maybe this just just having this means I can go in any cannon from now on in the game. I never really thought to use some of this other shit. Like, I gotta throw this axe at somebody still. I'll throw it at the next boss. Which may be soon. Fucked up, homie. 
probably should have waited for a chest to pop up or not. Oh well, too late. Just move, just move, just move. That black mage is gonna drop some magic on you and you're too far away, dude. Alright, fudge him up. Don't let him do his sheet. We have a left door. We have a center door. Oh shit! Those are alive! Holy crap. I should have recognized that as being alive. Oops. There was another one over here. Let's get rid of him. Oh, there's a mage over here too. What the heck? No! Stop casting spells on me! Ow. I cast a spell on you. And now you're mine. I cast a spell on you. Ooh, level up, nice. Uh, this is for Hawkeye. Okay, we can do strength. We're back. We're back full circle. He can do strength again. Um, I'll wait till dexterity is at ten. All right, I'm gonna check this bottom left door first. I think there's still an enemy here. Wait, hold up. How's there still an enemy here? I don't even, did I miss a fucking whatever? See another enemy out there. Get fudge, Mr. Robot. Item, yup. Wait for the item. Always wait. Woo, piece of candy. Was that a unicorn night piece? I mean, it looked like it. It looked like a night piece from chess, but it had a unicorn horn. You are correct. There's another one to confirm. That is indeed what it was. There's another enemy here? Oh, over there. Oh, I can still hit him from down here. Get fucked, homie. Got him. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not even... There must be another enemy up on the bridge. Oh, well. Can't get up there. It's kind of annoying that you can't get the fucking you win sim uh, message to get an item out of it, but oh, well. Oh shit, don't kill me. Don't you kill me, bro. Don't you even think about it. Hawkeye, you'd better not die, homie. You won! I won! Fuck up some of these chesty snipes. Chest knights. They're just called chest knights. Even though they're fucking unicorns. Such liars. Okay, so I can't bump my intellect anymore. So we're going spirit. Angela's got spirit. How about you? Learn diamond shards. Ooh, that's a new spell for me. Ooh. I like new spells. Definitely another enemy here. There we go. Fuck him up. Um, it's probably worth just moving up the middle. I don't know. Oh, hey, look, it's him. There's no end to them. I'll take care of the stragglers. You go on ahead and check on his majesty. So I guess if you don't already have your third character, you get Duran here. Who's left? We've met Duran. We met the little sprite chick. We haven't met the third guy, or girl. It was a girl, right? She was like a, a mage-looking girl. Right? I'm pretty sure. I forget her name, but that's the last character we haven't met yet. Probably get Duran's backstory here in a minute. If it's still going to give us backstories. Don't you kill my Angela. Don't even think about it. You won! Medecla herb, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the candy. We got the candy to spare. I got a bunch of extras if I need it. Stored in my storage. I mean, shit, they're only 5 GP a pop, dude. I can afford a few more. Up 
really good. Uh, this seems like a dead end room to me, though, unfortunately. Cool. I'm gonna check the other side anyways. Fuck it. Just in case. You won! Alright, center door as expected. Should I heal Hawkeye? I'll heal him right away if we fight a, fight, a boss fight or something. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to fight Crimson Wizard here, boy. Hmm, behold! Even the Hero King is powerless when paralyzed by magic. You must be the Crimson Wizard of Altina. Why would Valda, the true queen, mount this cowardly attack on Volsina? She seeks to control the Mana Stones and thought it best to destroy Volsina before retaliation. Her Majesty is not troubled by past alliances. A pity. That is all you wish to ask? So be it. Take this! Stop! Oh shit, are we just going in? I guess we're going in. Alright, let me heal Hawkeye before we just go in. We just told him to stop and now we're throwing down. Let's do it. Fuck you, Crimson King. Or Crimson Wizard Bitch. Oh my, so this is where you ended up, Angela. May our paths cross again. Oh, he ran away like a little bitch tits. What a little bitch tits. Your Majesty, are you alright? Duran, you have re have you returned? No, you're seeing things. It's all fucking, it's all a dream. I was a castle guard when the Crimson Wizard last attacked. To atone for my defeat, I left. Cool. Your Majesty, you my you know my mother. You mean you are the daughter of Valda, the true queen? Yes, though she attempted to take my life, so fuck that bitch. To think that Valda had a daughter all along. What's that supposed to mean? Forgive me, I meant no insult. You can't just say something like that and expect me not to have questions. Tell me! Hey, you can't talk to the king like that. Be still. I am not offended. My apologies, princess. You may one day learn the truth, but now is not the time. I am, however, worried about Valda. She is a kind soul. I cannot imagine her deciding to throw her daughter's life away. Oh? Your Majesty, we're searching for the elementals that reside near the monasteries of the world. Please tell us where to find this kingdom stone. Fairy, I see. I met one of your kind when I stood against the Dragon Lord. In truth, I was chosen by that fairy. You what? Sadly, that fairy was cut down at the hands of the Dragon Lord. I was spared. If fairies have come to rule our realm again, this bodes ill for the world. Eight mana stones exist in the world. The powers of earth, water, fire, wind, light, darkness, the moon, and wood originate from these stones. You will find the elemental spirits of each living nearby. Okay. Interesting. Earth, fire, water, and wind. Light and dark, moon, and wood. Interesting. It's probably the same in the first game. I just forgot. Or first game in secret of mana rather we've already located the elementals of light lumina and earth gnome hey yo i don't oh, no, that's uh how you doing he's got that country accent how you doing girl six remain you must travel to palo port by boat from Bazer. from there you can reach lawrence mount monastone it is the windstone Steve will find the stones. You need Silphid's wind powers in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you have found him. Safe travels to you all. 
Sylph is a dude? Sylph is usually a girl. Well, Sylph. Moon's the only one that really throws you off. Yeah. It's not really an element, is it? The moon. Moon element. I was a castle guard. Fuck off, Duran. You say the same shit too much. Yeah, okay. Teleport my boat from my Baser. Maybe they'll let me just go to Baser now. Like, maybe Baser will just be like, yo, you're here now. Cool. We don't, we, uh, we're, you're cool. We'll let you in now. You're cool. Anyway, um, I guess we're good. See ya. I mean, I don't imagine there's anything else going on in here now. And like I said before, I don't expect to find, like, treasure chest items around here at all. Wait, what are you doing here? Bon voyage? Oh, you mean my older brother? I'm Bonjour. I know you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. I'm still setting up my brother's invention. Okay, so that's how we're going to get back, I guess. We're going to take a ride on Bonjour's cannon. Okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. What's in a name? Not expecting treasure chests in the King's Castle? No, this game just doesn't have treasure chests. You get treasures from enemy drops. There's not, like, chests in dungeons or areas. You know what I mean? There just hasn't been any, so I'm assuming it's not a thing in this game. Strange to see these flowers bloom at this time of year. Seems like a bad omen to me, but who knows? Sure. Alright, let's start exploring the town since we couldn't do that earlier. This is Volcina Royal Library. Ooh. Monster Manual. It has information on everything from rabbits to mushrooms. Some monsters describe it in an ancient language. You can't read it. Well, fuck you then. I ain't gonna read it. You can't make it. Second floor is fortune readings. Ooh. Call me now for your free reading. Let's see it. Let's hear it. People's lives are 99% destiny. The rest of your future is up to you to decide. We call that the final... We call that final 1%... Oh. Okay. What's that face for, huh? Why not get a reading from this old fortune teller? Oh. Nothing's coming to me. That's never happened. All I see is a fairy cre creature fluttering around. Yes, a fairy like that. Uh, oh my! Are you a real fairy? It's my fault. It's impossible to find the future of a person possessed by a fairy. There's nothing wrong with you again. That gave me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on your way out. You scared the shit out of me. Now get the fuck out and never come back again. I didn't expect that. But hilarious. Can't even use the fortune teller properly. Because we got a fairy in our heads. Alrighty then. I didn't pick up a new seed, right? the item shop you totally are oh he sells more things than the last few shops though we can actually buy honey elixirs now we can buy stardust herbs heals all status effects nice or all effects maybe this is status effects and these are effects meaning maybe like debuffs or something i don't know i should buy one more um couple wishes though i didn't use one earlier i only have one candy in my inventory Reload. At least reload my inventory. Fairy Walnut. It covers 20 MP. Okay. I'm going to pass on that for now as well. We don't have enough spells to really worry about it. We did get a new spell, though. I haven't used that yet. We, we'll get a chance to use it on the next boss, maybe. Um, Do we want to stay here? Sure. Just heal me, and then I'll save it. Dini day or Undine. Undine day. Tonight we Undine in hell. So far, I'm in, I'm I'm digging the amount of progress we have made today. I feel like we've 
made some nice steady progress. I'm enjoying it. Wendell is quite close to Jad, you know. There was a ship that traveled to Jad from the port of Maya, Maya east of Alcina. Wait, close to Jad, you know. There's a ship that traveled to Jad from the port of Maya. Yeah. My word, I had no idea Jad had such troubles. First Altina attacks Valsina, and now this? What's happening in the world? Yeah, it's like, you don't want to go to Jad right now. Jad is a not a good situation. I'm going to go fix it later, but it's not a good place to be right now. Oh, Mama said I can't go far. My Mama said... You wear the guard dog. That looks like a cat, but I guess maybe it's a dog. It's laying down, so it's hard to say. Doggo! That sounded like a cat sound more than a dog sound. When I get big, I want to be a champion like Duran and enter sword fights. You have fun with that. That's just a pass through. Going into the pub, which probably is open at night. Welcome, take a seat. Let's just take a seat. Just take a seat. Yeah, see. It makes it sound like a cat. It goes, meh. This, that's not a fucking doge. You can't tell me that's a doge. The most pathetic sounding doge I ever heard. Saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard of the castle. I wonder what it's for. I mean, it's not there yet. Maybe it's, maybe now it is there though. Maybe it is. Maybe it just like takes them into spawn. Golden Knight Loki was struck down while defending the Hero King from dragons. Now that's the stuff of legends. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Like, maybe I just had to leave the castle, and then if I go back up there, the cannon's there now. I'm gonna go check before I leave, just to see. There's a shop to check. Armor and weapons to buy. Mostly glade. Spike gloves, plus rotate. So I already got these weapons. I already bought nothing new. Ooh, these are definitely new. Cicada, cicada earrings, leather band, gem ring. Okay, so one for each character. So the earrings, I'm buying those. Leather band. Buying those. Gem ring. Buying that. That's a couple extra defense. Can't hate on it. I mean, I knew we still had, like, slots where we hadn't equipped something. Ring, woot. I'm guessing we get two accessory slots. That's how this works. Cicada earrings for my thief boy. I keep forgetting I have to click and then go down. Super annoying. Alright. Accessories for everybody. Equipped. Woot. One more door over here. Nobody here. Hello. You've seen Duran? I'm not surprised he didn't come by. His pride won't let him return yet. Duran's younger sister, Wendy, is upstairs. Please don't say anything. It's already hard on her. Okay. Duran's younger sister, eh? my big brother's room. He left without a word, but I hope he'll be back soon. There is a treasure chest here. Motherfuck. There's nothing inside. Oh, I'm so gypped. That was the first treasure chest I've seen randomly without having to kill something. But it's the same kind of chest that pops up when you kill stuff, so nothing special there. Alright, let's check for that cannon, and if whether it's there or not, I'm gonna leave on foot. So. Actually, I might need to go back now that I think about it. How else am I going to get to, to the, the city? I'm Von Jor, younger brother of Von Boyage. He told me all about you. He even gave me this cannon to help out. 
Hop in and I'll send you back to my brother's place. Oh, don't worry. I'm a much better shot than he is. Ready? Sure. Prove it. You better land me in town, sir. Much better shot indeed. All right. Well done. As we sploosh into the water. Oh, we really landed perfectly next to the cannon. Nice. What a terrible way to travel. It's hilarious, but so impractical. All right, we're heading to Balesar. Bail, 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 Bailsar. Fucking the other city, damn it. I wonder if they'll actually let me go there now. We're gonna find out. Let's go. Now that we got new armor and weapons across the board, we should be able to rock through the, these enemies very quickly now, which is good stuff. Keep an eye out for items, though. Once you see that U1, just wait a second. Anticipate that U1 line, and then wait a second. really are rocking the tits off these enemies for sure your boy is strong okay I feel like we're missing something to like introduce us to this fucking port city that wouldn't let us in before but maybe just plot progress plot wall is gone you know there's a chance it's a piece of candy Bitch, don't be throwing no fucking arrows at me. How dare you. Fucking dare you. Alright, let me in, Baser people. Sweet, there's nobody standing in the way anymore. Awesome, we're in there. Welcome to Baser, y'all. This place is quiet during the day, but not at night. There are flashing lights and strange noises. I bet you anything it's a ghost. Oh, sorry, I'm Matello, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. I really hope the building is haunted. Hee hee hee. Okay, I'm coming into this house at night because apparently there's something here. Remember this. I mean, the inn's right next door. I'm about to stay here till nighttime. I guess because I don't want to forget to do this check. Rest up, children. We're going to have a big day tonight. Couldn't say tomorrow. Because it's tonight. We are young. Kids think this house is haunted. Huh. <laughs> I'm still kicking. I sweep the night market building during the day. That's why I'm never home. Oh, okay. So it's just the old man isn't home during the day. That's all. Wow. 
Excited for nothing. Some say the Merchant Guild runs Bazer, but it's really just a bunch of old coots around tr town trying to sound important. Laughable. My granny always says she wants to go to the night market, but as soon as it gets dark, she's out like a light. There's a mysterious item called the, the Minor Mallet. Even the Merchant Guild that runs the night market hasn't gotten its hands on it. The Minor Mallet. That's a kitty. Wow. Fucking hissing at me, fucking cat. How dare you? Kick you in the damn fire. Don't make me. You know what? I take back what I said about there not being items in chess. We have found a couple items in, in crates and barrels that are laying around. Just not, like, randomly in town like this, but, like, in specific dungeons and, um, more so, like, what was the first one I found like that? I'm trying to remember. It was in, like, one of the early areas we were in. Oh, like, in the castle, in, in the castle to be in the game. Pretty sure there was, uh... A, a crate there that had an item in it. Anyway, new new uh, armor for everybody. Let's load it up. Load me up, Scotty. Don't know where brand new armor and shit. And before I equip it, I'm gonna go check for some webs. Also... Cause I'm kind of expecting new ones here as well. Hell yeah. The bear claw. Hell yeah. Twisted rod. Only two better, but it's better. The rondell blade. Okay. Yo, who rondell though? Bitch, I don't know who rondell is. You best tell me who Rondell is. Mm -hmm. All right, first things first. That twisted rod. Boop. Put that B down. That Rondell blade going. Rondell of Blood. Bear Claw. See, I could go for a Bear Claw right now. I'm getting hungry. Your boy getting hungry. It's too early to talk about food, though. All right, armor and weapons equipped. Sweet. Let's get back to exploring. There's probably not much else to explore now that we're here. We just have to get on a boat and move on. They're on the horizon. I saw something move. I bet it was a ghost ship. I heard some skippers talking about it. Ooh, I wish I could ride on a ghost ship. It sounds exciting. Oh, sorry, I'm Metello, and as you can see, I'm obsessed with the supernatural. Yeah, obsessed with ghost ships. Obsessed with a guy who comes home at night that apparently scares you for some reason. I, I don't get it. Who lives here? Hello. Hello. Welcome? Oh, you're a shop. Oh. Wait, what? What? Uh. uh what? What's with the claws and the coins and the scales and the claws and the coins and the scales and the coins? I'm assuming this is a usable thing. I'm, I, maybe it's an accessory. Oh no, these are items that you use. Yeah, don't I have a water coin? Pretty sure I have one of these ice coins. Okay, so they're just magical items to use. Interesting that you could buy those, but good to know. What do you sell then? Okay, you 
you're the one that sells items. Well, other usable items. The dart, the hand axe, the bumpkin. Light coin. Poto oil. Marpoto oil. Dart coin. Inspector eye. It's like magical item shop, basically. We're the Aurora Sisters, famed entertainers of the night market. Shall we dance for you? Hell yeah! Impressed yet? Incredible! That was okay, I guess. I don't know. For a game, you think they'd be more in sync? It's a video game. I guess they're trying to give it realism by having them be slightly off sync, but that's just weird. Looking for labor? Normally I'd offer you a deal on indentured servants, but I'm sold out. Someone already came and bought the last bratty boy I had. Okay. Oh, welcome to the Merchant Guild's Night Market. You won't find these wares in any other shop. Careful, there are some dangerous items on sale at the Night Market, but it's hard to get your hands on them elsewhere. Uh, I guess he doesn't actually sell you anything. Disappointed. What about this guy? People's lives 100% blah, blah, blah. Okay. Good times. Glad we uh, did all that fun stuff. <sighs> okay. What now? That was the night market. Glad we checked that out. Hello, hello. In the sea south of Bazer sits Buca Island. Heard some sailors talking about how the volcano could erupt at any minute. You don't, uh, you don't say. You don't fucking say. Our ship sailed to Palo Port. Did you know the town of Palo is at the base of the mountain territory of the kingdom of Laurent? Laurent was attacked by the thieves of Navarro. Rumor has it that King Joster died in the assault. Such a shame. Sure, I know all about all those things. Totally. Night Market's looking for more entertainers. Well, then fucking find some. What do you want me to do about it? Can I go down here? Probably not. Ooh, there's the boat. See ya! Let's get the fuck out of here. Destination Palaport, that'll be 50 GP per person, 150 GP for three. See ya! All aboard! Palaport, here we come, gonna check out new places, yo. Pro tip, chocolate wafers made for baking, easier melting, are a quite cost-effective source of 70% chocolate for snacking. Nice. What you do is you buy stuff like that with little chocolate wafers, DJ. And then you buy like a snack of some kind of salty snack that you like, pretzels, popcorn, you know, whatever. A mixture of salty snacks if you want. And then you mix it all into a bowl and then you got your own little trail mix action going on. Hell yeah. Alright. Hope you travel with us again. to a new place. Uh-oh. Oh? Something's not right. They're acting like they don't recognize me. Isabella must have gotten to him. Hey, cat got your tongue? Palo Port is now a territory under control of the Navarro Nation. This is Isabella's doing. I know it. All the Navarlans must might be under her witchcraft. Okay. Keep that in mind. Witchcraft.
one day you might try that. Trail mixes aren't really a thing there. I mean, that's fine. That's what I'm saying, DJ. You can make your own. As long as you have the things that you like, trail mix is only a few purchases away. That's the beauty of a trail mix. It doesn't have to be bought unless you just really don't want to buy all the separate ingredients because you get a lot more trail mix if you buy all the ingredients separately and you can buy the ones you like the most instead of just having a mixture of, oh, I don't really like that one. Ugh. Anyway, Nicolo, it is you. You have to know me. Come on. Isabella must have gotten to you too. Nicolo, huh? Okay. Supposed to be the area of the game you start off at. Ooh, we got new hoods. New hoods for your peeps. Let's buy them. Got the sorcerer hood. It's only one extra defense, but hey. One extra defense is better than no extra defense, am I right? Let's equip her up. Sorcerer hoods. Too bad her sprite doesn't change wearing that outfit. Yup. That'd be cool if the sprites actually changed based on what you're wearing. But we all know that level of sophistication this game does not have. Man, now I want some trail mix. Damn it. Why did I bring that up? I'm hungry. <sighs> I gotta at least make it another hour and 20 minutes. I wanna make it to 9 o'clock before I worry about eating. Taking a break. I wanna get at least four hours of this game in. Alright. We have not been to the inn yet. I don't really need to heal, but we can save it, I guess, because we did buy some stuff. Yes, travelers this late at night. I don't need to stay. I just need to save. Thank you. The good thing about a game like this as well is I always feel like I'm making progress, at least so far. So it's like, even if I only play for two, three hours at a time, I know I've made like a good chunk of progress. So it's, it's a good thought as well. Like, I could play Witcher for three hours and barely make any real progress. Big ass open world ass game. God damn it. There's a weapon shop here too. There's not gonna be better weapons already, though, right? Not yet. All I did was cross an ocean. Yeah. Nah, nothing new. We're good. I kind of expected that, though. Because they didn't have new armor either, they just had new helmets. I came from that way. I guess we're just gonna get the fuck out of here then. Um, yeah. Is this the way out of here? I have no idea. Nope. But we'll look around. We haven't been down here. Hello. She was injured when the Navarlin ruffians attacked the town. Those ruffians. It hurts. It hurts. We're a bunch of Navarlian assholes, am I right? second, I thought I came up in the center where that blue hair chick was at. Survivors of the mountains. Meadow. Huh? Hey, you gonna take my order or not? Oh, sorry for the wait. That's the last party member girl, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, so we met the last party member person. Finally. Five hours into the game. Not that we're gonna need her, but there she was. Okay. Don't know if meeting her mattered, but we met her. Heaven's Way. These enemies are level 8 now. How dare you try to pose a challenge, level 8 enemies? How dare you? So we have 
left, we have down. Right. We can go up or we can go down. Um, I'm gonna start with up, I guess. Needle beak, huh? Get fucked, needle beak. This little fucking little demon bitch with the pitchfork called. I keep missing his name. Go back and then down. Oh shit, chest did pop up. Motherfucker. He's candy. Ooh. So I feel like we're going up the mountain, which is what I want to do. But it makes me want to see what was down the mountain. Also, wasn't paying attention to what that thing was called again. Little purple flying guy. Maybe he's an imp or something like that? Killing Ain Hala. Ace old. I wanna be okay, but I'm not. A polter box. Aw, oh, damn it, it's the live box. Run away. Nope, don't you kill him. Don't you kill him. Treasure. Kill it. Damn it. I'm really hoping to kill that thing unscathed. I did not, but we got it. Screw that shite. I'll check down the mountain first. Yeah, part of me thought maybe it was gonna be a beach. There must be like the ability to go around the world via the beaches. Like we're gonna get our own boat and that's where we have to dock every time. That's why the beach is its own screen every in every freaking area. That would make sense. So I'm not I don't know that's going to be the case, but it would make sense. Oops, did I kill the right person? I did, okay. Definitely a nice little tune in this area for sure, Garzonis. Very chill. Very fresh. Little boom tick clack, boom tick clack, beat going on. Ooh. Grapper went up a level. Alright, let's get that level 10 stamina and then we'll maybe mix it up a little bit. He's kid. Yeah, buddy. Check over here before we go up higher in the mountain. Yeah, dead end. I might have to get up for a minute and take a, like a mental break. I'm having one of those lethargic fading moments just because I need to like get up for a minute. Maybe I can find a safe one before I do that though. Is 
still haven't been paying attention to what the name of that little imp bastard is. Alright, let's check over here first. Bridge, huh? Same spot. It's not a heal spot, though, so we'll heal. Um, who needs the heal? Angela. It's a Pangela. Pop a quick, quick save. Pop a quick, quick save. It's probably worth healing if anybody has lower than 100 under their uh, max HP counter. The game making a mental state to hear it. It's not that it's making the me the game. It's not the game's fault. It's completely my own like mental state and stuff. Like this is the kind of game where I have to carry the commentary. There's not a ton of dialogue. There are moments where I have to talk sure because there's dialogue and have to read. But this game is mostly just you know fighting stuff on the way to the next thing. That's what the game's layout is, which is fine. I think it's gameplay focused and not necessarily story focused. Fine. This story focus too, but I just mean that the game, the exploring of the world, kind of drives the story. I don't know. It is story driven. A reason to go to the next area is the story. I don't know. I don't know the best way to put it. Point is, got beat scale. Point is, I'm just tired, man. That's really what I'm getting. That's just what it comes down to. I'm just a tired man. I'm a tired man. So when it comes down to me having to say things, my brain starts getting into a groove where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be like talking. Yeah, dude, chat more, say more things. Maybe it'll get me to think about more stuff so I have stuff, more stuff to say. I mean, it is helpful, like actually. Chest? No. Do, 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 do. I might have went the exact right way going through that cave over there. Or not. Wait. A cave here too? So many caves. So many doors. What's actually the name of this game, though? You still haven't figured that out? It's called Trials of Mana. And if you're not sure about the... That's the English version, the U.S. name. Um, the original Japanese version is called Seiken Densetsu 3. The third game in the Mana series. Um, you know, preceded by Secret of Mana was the second game. And Final Fantasy Adventure, a.k.a. Sword of Mana, was the first game. Before you ask, yes, I have played both of those. I'm trying to think of what I want for dinner. Maybe I'll just order like order some more of that wine barbecue, so I don't have to like go out. Cause I can order that shit right now. You can take a food break and keep playing. Actually, it's not like a good idea, honestly. Oh, shit. Are we dropping frames like crazy right now? We totally are. Son of a bitch. Of course that would happen when Garzonis asks the question. Motherfucker. Gust Hall. Okay. This is probably where the wind bitch is at. It for a minute. 